Now, I wanted to try and do something, something a bit weird, and I don't know if I'm going to be able to pull it off, and I'm actually recording this intro before I even try. Let me show you what I'm talking about. Now, all I'm going to do is just really quickly show you what I'm working with. So, yes, I am using an ultra-wide, but it's kind of irrelevant, because if you was using two monitors next to each other, or like I've got one up the top above as well, which at the moment I've just been using for Discord, but I don't really need it for Discord up there. It really is a wasted space because I can have Discord at the right hand side of the game. Obviously, you can see what I'm recording here at the moment. So if you've got multiple monitors or an ultra wide, what I want to achieve is using all of this space to get rid of clutter, get rid of things like details. I want to see details, but I don't want it on my main screen. Even the map. Even Rested XP, shout out, go get Rested XP, link in the description. But all of the information that I do want to see, but I don't need to see it all the time. And what I want to achieve, let's say when I open the world map, for example, I don't want it in the middle of the screen. Can I use this screen up here so I can have this basically as like a heads up display, if you like, where all the things that I don't need to be seeing all the time can move up there. You're probably like, no, that's not possible. It's impossible. There's no way you can use WoW on two screens. Let me go and find out and let you know if I managed to do it. So I actually done exactly what I set out to do. Want to see what it looks like? This would be my UI. So literally, you can see no chat box. You can see nothing. Just my very strangely laid out bars. And that's it. It looks super, super clean. You can see the tooltip down at the bottom right when I highlight something. Other than that, if I was to press my map button, my map's open. I can see exactly where I'm going, coordinates, everything. Right at this moment in time, I can also see all the rested XP layout. I can see my pally power, my mini map, all my add-ons, basically everything I need to see. But you can't see it. Let me show you on the camera because it's going to be very difficult for me to be able to actually capture this without just showing you what it looks like. So like you can see, that's exactly what I was just talking about, where it, that's what you could see when I was capturing it. But actually, all I've ended up using is half of the monitor up the top. And you can see I've not gone all the way to the top because I just couldn't get the resolution quite right. But it's got all the information that I actually need. I'll have my rested XP that goes up there. I've got obviously my chat box that I can keep an eye on. Healing, or damage, healing, threat, pally power, which will obviously come all the way down. My mini map's there all the time. And when I said if I open my map, I can now literally, I can run along playing and have the world map open at the same time at all times. So that does actually make the mini map pointless. I could literally just have the big map open all the time over in that top right corner. This is going to take some playing about to see how I actually like it and, you know, what I want to do with it in the future. But it can be done. You can literally get all the clutter off your screen. You could even have weak or announcements up here if you wanted to, or you know things that are not mega important. Like when when I say not mega important, if you had like your DBM warnings on like timers, the small bars, so you can glance up and see everything that's going on. Because you've got to remember, my eyes barely shift from the main screen. And then down here, where you've got all this space where generally people have their chat box here, you could have the big bars. You know, you've got so much screen space to play with now if you actually use double monitor. Oh, wow. And you're like, that's great. I'm really pleased for you. How do you do it? Actually, it was really easy. I've only used a few add-ons. Firstly, Liatrix Plus is the big one because you've got a few things in here that's going to be important. So as well as using Move Anything, which is an add-on where you can literally move anything, this one in particular inside of the frame section on Liatrix Plus lets you move this buff bar and I couldn't actually find it in Move Anything. So I've used that for Liatrix Plus. But really, it is just moving things around. But what you're going to need is in system, you're going to need enable viewport. So you need to tick it and then do a reload. And then when you open the settings, you can see what I've actually done is stretch the screen out in a really weird resolution. You know, it's 720 by 576, but it's rendered to 2594 by 2075 because all I've actually done is the top screen is extended and I've just stretched the screen up to the point where I'm happy with the width on the monitor. And then in Liatrix Plus, I've used the viewport to actually cancel out the top part of the screen. And then you hit resize and it moves everything in or out, depending on what resolution you've actually done. So then this gives me this blank canvas, so to speak, on my main screen to now start moving player frames around using Move Anything. So it can take a bit of time to go through these and find where everything is, but unit, player, you literally just tick it, and then you move it where you want. And then unit, your, your pet, for example, 
your target again you just move these around because they're going to be up on your top screen or side screen or however you decide to do it which are not actually going to be using so you want to now just readjust everything in so it's inside this screen that will include things like moving your spell book so you can see that using something like bag non so you can just put this wherever you want when you open your bags or actually using move anything to move the default bags moving your guild panel wherever you want it your character sheet look at this freshly boosted gear it's lovely but you get what i mean using move anything just to basically everything that's gonna go off your main screen onto your second screen resizing it and bringing it onto your main screen this might seem like a lot of effort which don't get me wrong it is but it is actually really cool i'm probably going to level my paladin exactly like this and try and get used to just this one character set up like this because i've spent so much time on like the druid and my other paladin and stuff like that that I probably can't change now. But quite honestly, outside of that, there's not a lot to it. It is just literally changing your resolution and stretching your screen out onto your extended monitor. The render scale will just adjust automatically and then using Leatrix Plus to get your viewpoint that you actually need to then start with your blank canvas. Pretty simple, really, actually, and pretty cool. And remember, you could do this with an iPad, which I've been considering. So actually extending de the desktop to an iPad and having the iPad sat in front of me and then having that as my map quest, all, all of that sort of thing. So that's something that I'm going to play about with next. But for now, just most people have got a second monitor or an ultra wide and an extra monitor or whatever you've got. Not everyone's got an iPad, but definitely doable. And I'll uh, report back on what I find. But cheers for watching. If you enjoyed it, like and subscribe. See you on the next one.